Yo, 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 I'm back, I'm back, alright, I know you look at my screen like, yo, what, what the, yeah, alright, this is not Studio One, this is Bitwig version 4, I purchased this a while ago, and I'm like, oh, I kept seeing the ads for it, and I'm like, let me try it, I actually had the Studio version for a while, and I opened it maybe once or twice, messing around with it, and then when the, um, version 4 came out i'm like all right i'm gonna copy because i kind of i always like the uh the the look to it i wish studio one uh colors was like this i don't know it it's the little thing for me this little part right here it makes me want to do like make more beats because i like the colors i know it might not mean a lot for a lot of different people but with me i just like the the color scheme for this all right um don't worry, I'm still making Studio One beat. I just thought I'll try something new and give it a go. All right, so I decided to work on this little plug type beat because I remember a while ago somebody had asked me to um to do it because I wasn't I didn't really know about it to be honest with you. And then I looked into it. I kind of liked the whole vibe to it, the way it makes me feel. So I was like, let me try. It. Uh, let me try this beat on there to see how I like the workflow in, in Bitwig. All right, and again, this is Bitwig version 4 point something. I don't remember the exact thing. So, okay, enough talking. We're going to get right to it. Uh, The beat, I guess I'll let you hear it first. Sounds like this. All right, that's it. Let me let you hear it. I mean, let me break it down for you. All right, so I start with the chord, like always. All right. Uh, to me, when it comes to the piano roll, Studio One and Bitway is almost the same thing. Although Studio One have a lot more options and it makes things easier for you. Um. All right, so we're going to come right here. So since this doesn't have a like a uh, like a chord track or anything like that where you could um lock the scale in there's a way to do it but it takes a lot of it's weird but anyway i'm not gonna bore you with this so let me let you hear the chord all right for the chord i basically played it first since when it comes to that type of beat, it sounds more jazzy than anything else. So you always want to have more than three um, note chords, right? You want to have at least four or five of them playing at the same time because it gives it more of a jazzy feel to it, all right? And I, so I play the same notes, I mean the same chord playing around. And all I did is I moved some notes down and to make it sound different and then i went back and add like low notes in between that just you know for the to give you that little vibe all right okay then you go here for the bell, I add the bell sound. For the for the bell, all I did is like I said, same thing with Studio One. It's a little bit different though. Uh, if you want to bring up the ghost note from the chord, you highlight both of the clips right here, and then you lock in 
you have to lock it in in this one. It's weird. I mean, you could still do it, but when you try to put the notes in, that's a little bit weird. So I always lock it in. The ghost notes, you lock them in, and then you could just write on top of the other one, all right? So all I'm doing right here, I'm using the uh, the notes in the top. I I'm, I'm started from the notes in the top. And then I'm playing my um, the melody for the bell, all right? And then you could do that for the next one, the whistle. Um, same thing. I'm using the same notes from the chord. Uh, hold on. Same notes from the chord, and I came up with it. All right. And I'll let you hear all three of them together. Actually, you get this thing. All right, that's the intro. That's the intro. Um, and then the lead. Uh, the lead sound. Same thing. I'm. I'm think I'm using the same notes that I'm using before. Um, for the lead. Let me move this over here. That's it, and then what else did I work on? Snare. I add the snares right here. And then got the hi hat. That's the only thing I missed with Studio One. They don't have a step sequencer in here. Um, so I'm using the piano roll, which not bad but I, actually sometimes i prefer using the piano roll but i'm so used to the studio one sequencer to do my hi-hats and snares it saves a lot of time all right and then got the open hi-hat i mean the open hats whatever um then got this little perk which is like a ram shot. And then, I'm sure what you guys been waiting for is the 808. The 808. All right, for the 808, I'm using two different 808, which I never do that before. I end up doing it by mistake. And I like it, so I kept it. All right, my fault. Uh, my fault. I had to uh, deal with my child for a little bit. Um, so we're back on the 808. So like I was saying before, um, I came up with this 808 right here. And Again, I'm using the the no 
goes from the court. So I didn't at first I didn't like the the way that sound, and I went to uh, reason because I I didn't know how to mess around with the uh, the sampler in here on um, Bitwig. It's kind of hard to get the root of this. I mean, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. So I went with reason, and I basically copied the same pattern and played it in reason. So then I was flipping back and forth between them two. And then I ended up, you know, solo them at the same time. So I was like, yo, I kind of like this. And plus they wasn't um, clashing with each other much. I, did, I was like, let me just keep it because it's two different 808 playing. I was like, all right, that sounds good. So we're gonna we're gonna ride with this. So that's how I came up with having both of them playing at the same time. All right, that's it. All right, um, anyone that's using Bitwig, if you like me to make more uh, videos on it, I could, or I can, I will, if you want to. If not, I guess I'll keep going with my Studio One video, um, which is, I was never going to stop that, but anyway, if you like what you, if you want me to do this beat again in Studio One to understand it more, I could do that also. So in the meantime, any requests, let me know in the comments. All right. Uh, likes, comments, subscribe, and all that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.